Good morning. My name is Jeff Payne. Thank you for joining us this morning. We're going to be talking about the new regulations on refrigerated trucks in California. Our aim in talking this morning is to educate and to prevent the penalties that will result from breaking those regulations. Those penalties can start at $1,000 for every occurrence. We also want to help you as a shipper avoid delays in your shipments due to failed inspections. Some background. In October of 2011, the California Air Resources Board, known as CARB, permitted a group of amendments that would alter the regulations on transporting refrigerated goods within California. One of those amendments would regulate emissions of refrigerated units operating in California and therefore it's affecting freight forwarders, shippers, receivers, motor carriers, and their drivers. The primary purpose behind these regulations is to limit the pollution from various distribution centers that are located near public places, such as schools and other community landmarks. Now, what the law was referring to in this was that in these large distribution centers, there were a large number of trucks that were idling uh, all throughout the day, keeping the shipment cool in the truck. And the pollution that resulted from this was affecting nearby areas such as schools and other community landmarks. These new requirements went into effect in January of this year. So what are the requirements? If you want a technical understanding of the new laws, we've provided a link below. I'd recommend that you go to it. Here's a brief understanding of what is required. For any refrigerated transport of goods in a truck, trailer, or rail car, the carrier that is hired must comply with the Air Resources Board Refrigerated Unit and Airborne Toxic Control Measure Performance Standards. In addition, Shippers have to provide contact information to the broker so that the carrier can present it to authorized enforcement personnel upon request. The information provided must include your company name, the street address, the state, and the zip code, along with a contact person from the company and a business phone number. This new rule applies to any shipper that hires any carrier that is going to ultimately travel on a California highway or railway, even for those shippers that are located out of state. Now, there's one exception to this. It's if a driver chooses to enter California rather than require to travel through California due to route. These new guidelines by CARB mean that brokers and freight forwarders should be able to verify their carrier's compliance and refer to the Air Resources Board equipment registration. We recommend certain strategies for shippers that could ensure that you are hiring compliant carriers. First of all, if you keep a database of your carriers, which we recommend, send an annual notice to them, letting them know that going forward, you will only work with 100% compliant carriers when traveling on California highways or railways. Secondly, if you advertise a load on a load board, specify that since the load is gonna be traveling through California, the carrier that takes the load must be 100% CARB compliant. We especially recommend this now as, the, as this law is just getting going and many carriers are not familiar with the requirements. Document the steps that you took to notify the carrier that, they, that you are requiring that you're working only with carriers that comply to the CARB rules and regulations. Next, if the carrier agrees to use TRU, refrigerated unit equipment, then document it and have the carrier sign your documentation for further coverage of any liability. And finally, require proof from the carrier that they are compliant. Now, once again, any violations or a failure to comply can be penalized of up to or more than $1,000 per occurrence. As a shipper, let your carriers or brokers know that you will not use carriers that are not compliant. You may also require that any carrier or broker that you work with provide a current ARBER certification page. Thank you very much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next month. If you have further questions, you can call us at 630-529-0700 
or email us at socialmedia at beckerlogistics.com. We'll be back with another video soon.